is Jill Bray Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show. Dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest uh, to our community. So today I am joined by Dr. Elizabeth Fontaine. She is the medical director of Rise Vermont and Lifestyle Medicine, and Lindsay Hoare, who is a registered dietitian with our Lifestyle Medicine Department. So thank you for joining me uh, today. Sure. And we're going to be uh, talking about this exciting uh, lifestyle intervention education program called CHIP. So I'm sure our viewers will be really excited to hear more about that. But before we start doing that, let's tell the viewers a little bit about who you are and what you do. So I guess I'll start. Okay. So like you mentioned, I'm a physician. Uh, I'm the medical director of lifestyle medicine in Rise of Vermont. Uh, the majority of the population know me as an obstetrician gynecologist mm -hmm. as I've been practicing here for the last 23 years. But my background uh, was in physical education and obesity. I have a master's degree in exercise physiology and obesity, and therefore my interest into uh, mm -hmm. lifestyle medicine. Um, I'm also recently board certified yeah. in lifestyle medicine. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. The very first board certification in that field. And I'm a CHIP instructor as well. Okay. And let's see. I'm Lindsay. I'm a registered dietitian, health coach, and CHIP facilitator here at Northwestern. Mm -hmm. I've been here for about eight months, just under a year now, and I am currently in the process of completing my master's degree online through Pennsylvania State University with a focus in health promotion, disease Wonderful. prevention, and leadership. Good. Wow. Love it. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning about you too. That's terrific. So what does CHIP actually stand for? Sure. So CHIP stands for the Complete Health Improvement Program. And like you said, it is an education program in which participants or those that are enrolled learn about various health topics and how they can implement it in their lifestyle. And so how did we select CHIP? So basically because of my background, I uh, participate uh, with the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and the CHIP program was uh, over there and uh, often used by the uh, physician. So I think we need to have a little bit of background just to see the mm. why is, uh, so when you look at the health uh, costs of in the United States, 80% um, of our costs um, is related to chronic disease. When I was thinking about that, I was wondering where am I going to start my number, but let's start it this way. I'll explain what we mean by chronic disease. So 80% of our costs, which is increasing substantially, mm -hmm. as we all know, 20% yes. of our, our uh, uh, you know, costs in the United States is related to uh, health the problem. And of those 80% chronic disease, 70% is related to our lifestyle. And I will review also what wow. are these lifestyle. So that is, that is important number Huge. that the Huge people number. needs to know. So chronic disease, what, what do we mean when we use this term, chronic disease, for the general population? So we include um, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. which is usually acquired by a lifestyle again. Um, and uh, within the last 30 years, we've seen a substantial increase of diabetes, almost 50%. Um, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer mm -hmm. in the United States. And mm -hmm. for the majority of people, we think it is just a natural um, of dying of cardiovascular disease. It is not. It is related <laughs> to our lifestyle. We've got to pay attention to this. So, and cancer. Cancer also is related substantially to our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So it is important to understand these numbers. So knowing that chronic disease is related to our lifestyle, then it is important to think that if we can, you know, improve our lifestyle. And lifestyle, we're thinking about what we eat, what we do, movement, um, smoking, alcohol, stress, management. Mm -hmm. So those are the important things that could have a significant impact. So in our world of health, we treat disease. We're very good. We know a lot of medication to try to treat disease or control disease. But we do not treat the underlying cause, which is our lifestyle. 
Mm-hmm. So we need to work more into the underlying cause. And there is substantial evidence that helping people improving their lifestyle reverse cardiovascular disease or reverse chronic disease or, or prevent chronic disease. So simply by working in our lifestyle. Now the CHIP program works a lot into the lifestyle. There is over 80,000 people in the world that have completed this program with substantial result. It's mm-hmm. an evidence-based program mm-hmm. and is all, um, over 30 uh, articles that have been published in the CHIP program. So this is the reason. It's a little bit complicated for explanation, but I think it was important to go through this. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, what's amazing about what you just said is that when I think about the community health needs assessment and our top priorities, you just named them, and to think that those are preventable, and it has to do with our lifestyle. I might have forgot obesity, but <laughs> obesity <laughs> is related to everything yeah, I just said. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, the fact that this program is coming forward, um, it's just really extremely timely because how are we as a healthcare community going to address this, um, this problem, this top? community health um, issue. Yes. So that thank you for that overview. That was fantastic. Okay, so now we're at CHIP. So what's the details around it? So what is the program? What could people expect? Yeah, so the program is 18 sessions long, and it spans over nine weeks or three months. And during the sessions, we learn about our participants are engaged in a variety of different topics such as the benefits of plant-based eating, um, how to implement exercise in their daily routine, how to get a good night's sleep, and even stress management. So really taking a holistic approach to health and learning about that in class and then determining how they can apply that to their own life and live the healthiest, happiest life that they want to. And also throughout the program, we have participants complete an online health assessment and have their labs drawn so that we can get an understanding of where they're starting from and that they can also see how they're improving throughout the program. And are you both there or uh, are you, is there... Are there facilitators there? I mean, what does it what does it look like? Yeah, so it it depends. Usually, one of the f- facilitators is there. The class that I'm currently teaching right now, I'm mm-hmm. the main facilitator, and Dr. Fontaine comes in every so often and checks on me and <laughs> <laughs> makes sure that things are going smoothly. But Good. the outline for the class is that. Um, we first we come together, we touch base, see how everyone is doing, and then we watch a video on a topic and have some discussion around that and maybe share some recipes after that. And really it's just a great group learning experience. I just, I just came there by experience because uh, um, I had the chance to teach these classes in the past, so we've already done six or seven mm-hmm. of these groups in the past. So for Lindsay, it's her first experience. So it is nice for the candidate to have the chance to see uh, what happened locally. I mean, you, yeah. you can talk about studies, results. It never impacts as much as when you tell the story of what happened here locally. So mm-hmm. it's, it's I kind of... And they are not to check what she's doing, but mainly to give a little bit more input of uh, how interesting it is and the results and how people react in the past. Yeah. What is pretty cool, I think, for room people to have a physician come in and endorse and support what you're doing and what mm-hmm. they're doing. I mean, it's, uh, I think that uh, certainly gives uh, some a real impact uh, to it. So what's the optimal lifestyle um, that, that CHIP is promoting? I mean, what, what does that look like? So, so it's an interesting way for them to present it, to look at it as your help being some sort of a puzzle that is distributed, that we're trying to help you with the different video and explanation to put it all together. 
and, and gives you the chance to uh, have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the majority of individuals, we, we think about our health related to weight. We don't really, you know, excess weight, obesity, mm -hmm. and, and we often think about going into crash diet, right, which right. often it may not be exactly the best uh, way to do things. So by giving the chance of people to be educated in a lot of different fields that they're not fully aware is pretty amazing. It is amazing to see how yeah. people mm -hmm. learn and realize things and then suddenly start discussing. And then they're able to put these different little elements that we tell them, put it all together, replace the puzzle together. And it's a simpler way to mm -hmm. do it, but it makes more sense than trying to say something that is kind of a crash that diet right. for individual. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, uh, it's an interesting and amazing uh, program. Because you really want, you want this to be lifelong change. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To change their habits into a, a new norm of healthy living. So that's wonderful. So as a dietitian, Lizzie, what is the, the dietary recommendation that comes along with this or how, how do you formulate a, a plan? Yeah, it's really, it's so hard to make generalized dietary recommendations for the entire population or a group of people because everyone is just so different. <laughs> we all have different backgrounds, we're all starting from different places, we all have different end goals. So what works best for me or for someone else is not going to work best for the next person. Regardless, um, I like to tell people to take a step back and have an honest look at where they're starting from, what their goal is, and then once they do that, they can see the opportunities of where they can increase their fruits, vegetables, and whole grain mm -hmm. intake. So what results can uh, participants expect from the program? So when I can uh, mention, in the previously, um, you know, you can certainly have results in the evaluation that we've done at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Regarding the cholesterol, there's often a substantial decrease into their cholesterol, which is an indicator of cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. Often people that are using medication for high blood pressure or diabetes may have to decrease it, and some have to stop their medication, wow. so they have to follow them. Carefully, and they're often surprised, yeah, to see that this could happen by simply showing them how to eat better. Wow. And, uh, and and interestingly, at the beginning, when they attempt these, often there'll be a little bit of a significant change in the way you see things. <laughs> you know, we become addicted to our diet, mm -hmm. so sometimes they will have a little bit of withdrawal feeling mm -hmm. about not being able to have their coffee coffee every morning and I'm not saying that they stop coffee for the rest of their <laughs> life but we do try to get them attempted to stop it for a few days and, and changing substantially eating more plant food uh, whole food uh, plant based diet a little less of the meat uh, is mm -hmm. uh, making a big difference they experience and the experience <laughs> is quite interesting um, so it is fun plus we shouldn't forget that uh, Lindsay take them for a um, supermarket tour where they oh, learn how really? to read the food yeah. label and that experience in itself is not only an excellent education yeah. but but people uh, it's fun it's fun to mm -hmm. see people how they learn so you have the quick learner that go all around and then you have the people that stop everywhere <laughs> to, see, to read it very specifically but it is important it just shows That's you excellent. how important it is to be able um, to look at the food label and mm -hmm. teach people so Wow, sounds like fun. It is, yeah. People, this is my first experience doing it, but people are just so engaged and willing to learn. And um, they come up to me during the day and they say, hey, Lindsay, I tried an avocado for the first time yes. and it was great. Or I went for a walk last night or even, what are we learning tonight? I'm, I'm excited. And it's really wow. been a great experience and an amazing feeling. That's terrific. Now, who is this offered to? Is, uh, is this open to the public, or when might it be open to the public? So wh what's the plan about the who? Who's doing this? Yeah, we're currently in the process of working out the kinks. We're going to plan on offering it to the public very soon. So we're doing it with the employees now? Yes, we're doing okay. it with the employees currently okay. right now. All right. So I, our time is, like, 
running out so fast. <laughs> I can't believe it. Is there any um, quick story or um, like aha or I mean avocado is one, but <laughs> anything that because you've done a few of these programs, so anything that has struck you that you want to leave as the as the message as we close this program. I think this is something that people has to learn about. I mean, yeah. if, you know, usually, like I said, people are used to something very different. Uh, we're teaching them amazing. We have a lot of tools to show them what they can do with their lifestyle. So I think that's probably the, the most important message is yeah. come, come and learn about it. <laughs> that's terrific. Well, thank you both so very much. And, and thank you for describing something that is really engaging. I think, to the individual and making it fun, meeting them where they're at with their, their dietary, um, your dietary recommendations, because everybody is so different, and the investment in, that you're putting in this and the expertise, because you went through a lot of training to become a CHIP instructor. This just didn't happen. Uh, so thank you for investing in, in the wellness, uh, the greater good of this community. So thank you for being here. And this is Jill Bray Bowen. I'm your host of the Health Beat Show, and it's just remarkable what we're learning, how healthy habits um, can prevent chronic conditions or even reverse chronic conditions. It's worth investing in yourself to live the best lifestyle. Thank you.